this video, you are going to see a hospital birth with no epidural. But before we watch this video, I want to make sure you are subscribed to Legacy Birth. Click that red juicy button down below. Down below, it says subscribe. It says subscribe. All right, let's get into the video. I'm not sure if this will be the start of my birth vlog. However, I have been feeling consistent contractions about five minutes apart. I will keep watching and see if it progresses over the hours. Stay tuned. This is Legacy Along. So here she's sitting on the birthing ball in an upright position and this encourages the opening of her pelvic muscles, allowing room for the baby to descend into the pelvis. She's also swaying her hips and walking and this helps to guide the baby into the optimal position for birth. Alright you guys, it is baby day. Here we are, our bag. We basically, my husband and I combine our things together. Baby's bag and snack bag. Let's see. Nice. Water. Hi, you guys. We are super excited. Today is baby day. Elena is going to finally meet us. And we're going to meet her. We have been thrilled and waiting. Oh my God, since 37 weeks actually when, when I turned full term because this isn't my first pregnancy, so I thought it would probably go a little faster, being that it's my third. My first girl, I'm so excited, I'm all nervous and excited, emotions everywhere. You guys, literally, we have been waiting and so excited. Um, I have been two centimeters for like two weeks now, so let's see how fast we progress. I am planning to do no epidural, uh, natural, that VBAC, I've done both of my previous deliveries VBAC. So, yay, I'm so excited. Oye, ¿está lista ya? Sí, claro. Yeah. Room tour, you guys. I guess that's a closet. Pretty big and spacious. And it's so calming. I love how they have the ocean background music and the baby's area. They have it like sanitary bags, my husband, my gown, mirror, and I'm assuming this is where the restroom is. Yeah, where the restroom is. Yay. Finally here. So excited. We are officially admitted and contracting. Got baby girl's heartbeat going there. As you can see, mine Contractions are up and down. I literally, the last time I was in labor with my son, I got to like a seven, eight centimeter and was not even like feeling it. So I don't know if this pregnancy is the same. Like I'm getting like really strong contractions and I'm like not even feeling them. But we are so excited. We are gonna meet our princess today. How are you feel, babe? I'm happy. You're excited? Yeah. <laughs> She will be here soon. What time do you think she'll be delivered? So you think five, five okay, and, and I think four. How much do you think she's gonna weigh? Seven and a half. Seven and a half pounds, oh my God. <laughs> that would be my biggest baby if she's seven and a half because my boys were five pounds and six pounds. So we'll see. I think she'll be a high six. So I'm gonna go with six pounds and maybe 10 ounces. You're going with seven pounds and a half, so let's see. Place your hands there and feel your stomach rising and falling with each breath. So this is an inflatable stool for labor. It's very similar to the yoga ball as it provides upright birth support. However, as you can see, it's really easy for her to balance and sway. Now, say to yourself, I choose a gentle and natural birth. I choose a gentle and natural birth. 
hospitals may have scent-free regulations, so you may not be able to use a diffuser like you would in a home birth, but a roll-on or a drop scent bottle is a great idea to utilize aromatherapy to reduce stress and tension during labor. Birth is a safe and wonderful experience. Wearing this mark is make it so much more helpful and proud. Contractions are super close. It's now 5, 5.35. I thought we were going to have her before 5, but it looks like she'll be later. But we are progressing. It's in the evening. So maybe sometime tonight. Alrighty, so this video was an interesting one. I'm sure while you guys were watching this video, you guys were like looking close in the screen like, did she have an epidural or not? Because she was so, so calm, right? She did have her IV, but this birth was without an epidural. So congratulations to her. She did an amazing job. And what I truly liked about this video is I think it gives a great representation of how you can take certain natural birthing remedies and apply it to your hospital birth. For example, her use of aromatherapy and her use of affirmation soundtracks. Birth is a safe and wonderful experience. Those are amazing ideas for you to use within your hospital birth to help you remain calm during labor. So shout out to her. She has an Instagram and a YouTube channel. Her Instagram is Mixed Breeze and her YouTube channel is The Life of Mixed Breeze. If you are new here on this channel, we share birth vlogs and tips. For those who subscribe, you are eligible for subscriber only giveaways. We are going to be doing a giveaway of $100 for hitting 21K. So you just go to LegacyBirth.com or you can click the link in the description down below. You scroll to the bottom, put in your email. It's super, super fast. It'll take a few seconds and that is it. You are then eligible to win the $100. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, click that red juicy button down below. Down below, it says subscribe. It says subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.